Welcome to Norwood High School, where the Stoughton High girls basketball team will be taking on the Norwood Mustangs. I'm Jeffrey Pickett, joined by Thomas Smith, who will be filming this game for us. This is a rare Saturday morning showdown between these two teams. Stoughton, 0-5, in need of a win for this game uh, to be a springboard into 2018. Let's pause and introduce you to our starting lineups. So you just met Stoughton starters, Norwood starters. Number three, Kiki Ryan. Number five, Ali Giambanco. Number 13, Megan Giambanco. Number 44, Kaylin Reen. And number 55, Kate Earl. Norwood coached by Amy Lepley. And Stoughton, of course, coached by the program's all-time leading scorer, Charmaine Steele Jordan. As I mentioned at the very top of the broadcast, Stoughton 0-5 coming into today's game. Norwood 2-2. Two two. The Mustangs fresh off a victory over Norton 54-42. Stoughton, despite the 0-5 record, has had three very close games this season. A seven-point loss to Oliver Ames in the season opener, a three-point loss to Attleboro, and a, most recently a four-point loss to Newton North. Stoughton obviously looking to be on the right side of those close matchups of uh, these close scores today as they will like to get a positive start right before the new year and a springboard into 2018 as Stoughton wins the tip, has the opening possession. That's Cheyenne Trin with the ball. Now to Lindsay McDonald, back to Trin. Trin is a one of two sophomore starters on the Stoughton team along with Aaliyah Wright. And so Stoughton will be inbounding. It's gonna be McDonald inbounding. McDonald inbounds to Motley. Motley back to McDonald. Trin's going to reset the offense to Wright. Wright's the leading scorer on the team, averaging 10 points per game. Back to Trin. Trin cutting to the basket. Can't get the shot to fall. Whalen tracking down the rebound. Inside to Motley, and Motley finishes it up for two, and Stoughton with the first points of the game. Whalen and Motley will almost assuredly get double-digit rebounds. Uh, they both do a great job cleaning up under the boards, and you saw it right there on that first possession for the Black Knights. Norwood now looking to answer. And travel called. So Stoughton's averaging just under 36 points per game this season. They'll be looking for a better offensive output today, especially their last three games, Stoughton's been held to an average of under 30 points. So that's one of the keys to today's game is to really get the scoring going as that's Cheyenne Trent to the basket, giving Stoughton a four nothing lead. Also to spread the scoring a little bit, last game against Newton North, Stoughton had just four players score. So. One of the keys to today's game, see if you could spread the wealth a little bit on the scoring end. Norwood answering right there, four to two. And Trin loses the ball out of bounds. Mustang ball. This is the first of two matchups this season between Stoughton and Norwood. The two teams will meet in Stoughton's regular season finale in February. That game will be played at Stoughton as Trin commits a foul underneath the basket. That looked like it was going to be an easy layup, so I like that foul there. Make number three, Kiki Ryan, earn the points at the line.
Norwood's already played Milford this season, losing to the Scarlet Hawks. That is a, Milford's a team that Stoughton will play next, actually, and is a fellow Hockamock League school. So it's four to three now. Motley to Trend, inside to Whalen. Whalen puts it up, gets the shot to go. McDonald with some tight defense right there on Giambanco. The two Giambanco sisters passing the ball to one another. Gets it to Reen. Reen to Ryan. Shot no good, rebound McDonald. Trin now looking to bring the ball up to right. Off ball foul called, turnover for Stoughton. Mustangs possession. So checking into the game is number four, Sydney Hyacinth. She's checking in for Cheyenne Trin. Number four on the court for the Black Knights. Just a freshman. Stoughton likes to play some, uh, actually both teams have some young talent on the court right now. That's Reen with the ball right now for Norwood. Back to Reen. Just seven seconds left on the shot clock. Giambanco gonna pass the ball and that was picked off by McDonald. Nice job right there on the defensive end by Lindsey McDonald. Hyacinth taking over the point guard duties. Brings the ball across the half court. Back to Hyacinth. Twelve left on the shot clock. Whalen kicks it out to McDonald. Back to Hyacinth. To Aaliyah Wright for three. Oh, in and out. But Motley cleans up. Can't get that one to fall. Whalen still fighting for the rebound, but she's going to lose it. And that is Reen for Norwood with the ball across the half court. Back to Reen. Puts up the three. No good. Rebound. Norwood. That's Giambanco. Giambanco to Giambanco. Back to Reen. 4 3. No good. Norwood doing a good job boxing out and resetting. Could not penetrate Stoughton's defense, though, as Giambanco in the backcourt slow to get up, and we have a timeout on the floor. Looks like she's favoring her shoulder right now. That's Allie Giambanco, the sophomore. So at 3.34 left in the first quarter, Stoughton up 6-3. to three. And as Giambanco gets a nice applause coming off the court, and it looks to be her right shoulder. Coach Steele Jordan meeting with her five players. She's going to... Stay with Hyacinth, Whalen, Motley, Wright, and McDonald, who will be inbounding the ball. So that's Wright with the ball, Leah Wright, looking to make her way to the basket. Shot is long. She able to track down the rebound though. And she gets the second chance opportunity. Already four players scoring for Stoughton here in the first quarter after having just four score for the Black Knights in the entirety of their North game in their last game. Ream right now with the ball. 
That gets out to early for three. Eight to six now, Stoughton with the two point lead. Hyacinth to Whalen, back to Hyacinth. And the ball is stolen away, that's Giambanco. Green now. Back to Giambanco. Inside to Early. No good, Whalen with the rebound, gets it to right. Back to Hyacinth. Leah Wright from downtown. No good, rebound Norwood. Still at eight to six as we're just under two minutes to go here in the first quarter. Shot is long. And that is Lexi Baptista has checked into the game for the Black Knights. She takes the place of Jordan Motley. So on the court you have McDonald, Baptista, Hyacinth, Waylon, and just checking in for Aaliyah Wright is number three, Mariah Harris. So Harris and Baptista getting their first action this morning. Taken away by Hyacinth. Pushes it to Harris, and she's fouled. First free throw is no good. That free throw is good. As it's nine to six now. Green with the ball. 10 seconds left on the shot clock for Norwood. Puts up a three. No good, that's McDonald with a rebound to Hyacinth who will bring the ball across the half court. Pushes it to Whalen. Whalen inside. Out of bounds on Norwood. I believe Whalen was fouled on that too. Let's see. Nope. It will be McDonald inbounding it. Harris for a long two, shot was short, Norwood with the rebound. It's a three pointer by Reem and it's gonna tie this game up. Nine all as Stoughton will look for the final shot. Hyacinth for three and she answers right back as the first quarter comes to a close. Stoughton 12, Norwood nine as Hyacinth gives the Black Knights the lead at the end of the first frame. So already Six players scoring for the Black Knights in that opening quarter. Harris, Hyacinth, Trin, Whalen, Wright, and Motley. And so you're seeing a balanced attack offensively, you're seeing a good job defensively. Really like the effort of Lindsay McDonald on the defensive end. Uh, tenacious, she also is doing a good job uh, under, uh, underneath the hoop, 
uh, grabbing the missed shots from Norwood. And on the offensive end, you always see Waylon and when Motley's in the game fighting for those offensive rebounds. So good effort so far for the Black Knights as they look for uh, to pick up what they hope will be their first win of the season against Stoughton 0-5 coming into this game and some tough luck losses to start the season and the Black Knights certainly hoping to reverse their fortunes this morning. We'll be right back for second quarter coverage. All right, back now for the start of the second quarter. Norwood will have possession to open up the second. Motley back in the game for the Black Knights, along with Trin, Wright, Waylon, and McDonald's. Your starting five as Trin takes that away, pushes it up to Wright. Wright recovers nicely and puts it in for two. Aaliyah Wright, two more. 14 to nine, Stoughton with a five point lead. And it's taken away by Trin again. Pushes it to right. Right, looking for some contact, doesn't get it, puts up a shot. McDonald back to Trin. Trin for three. No good. Norwood with the rebound. Irene's going to look to reset a little bit. She was trying to get it inside, but some tight defense right there. They are going to get Jordan Motley with the foul. So we have a timeout on the floor. Norwood taking the timeout. Early break in the second quarter. So we're coming out of the timeout now as the two teams make their way back onto the court. Stoughton going to be keeping the same five players on the floor. McDonald, Motley, Waylon, Trin, and Wright, your five starters for today's game. Norwood gets the inbounds pass. And that's Reen, thought about shooting. Instead, dr keeps dribbling and looking for a teammate to pass it to. Loose ball. Out of bounds, Stoughton ball. Trin. To the hoop, can't finish. Motley with the rebound, kicks it out to Waylon. Waylon for two, that was short. Picking up the loose ball. Back to Brinklow. Gets it inside, but that's out and it'll be Stoughton ball. I believe that went off of Giambanco. Trin. Brings the ball across the half court. Gets it to our fellow sophomore teammate Wright. Uh, McDonald. To Waylon. Waylon. Kicks it out to Wright. Back inside to Waylon. Waylon. Underneath the basket will draw some contact. As Val Waylon, one of the two senior captains on this team. Waylon and Jordan Motley. Your two captains for the Black Knights this season. First free throw is good. Whalen dribbles a few times, puts up the second shot. And that's good as Val Whalen extends the Stoughton lead to seven.
That ball is off Trin's foot. It will remain Mustang possession. That's Brinklow to Reen. Looking to get the ball away. Tightly defensed right there. Whalen all over the court right here defensively. Forces a travel, great defensive possession for the Black Knights. And Norwood, as we're getting deeper into the second quarter, it's worth noting that they have not scored so far in the second. Stoughton, meanwhile, has added four points to its lead, leading 16 to nine. As Trin to McDonald, to Wright, to Trin. Off ball foul as Norwood has possession. So Sydney Hyacinth into the game for Aaliyah Wright. Wright has four points so far. Motley defense right there. Shot no good. Hyacinth with the rebound. To, tr to Trin. To Hyacinth for three. Got it. Sydney Hyacinth, her second three-pointer of the game. And Stoughton is up 19 to 9. The Black Knights lead by 10. I'm interested to see how the this offense goes for Stoughton with both with both Hyacinth and Trin in the game at the same time. This is the first time this game that we've seen the pair of point cards on the floor together. Ball is kicked into the backcourt, out of bounds. It will remain Norwood ball. Giambanco to Brinklow to Reen. Back to Giambanco. Inside to Early. Can't get the shot to fall, but she was fouled. Nice to see Giambanco back in the game for the Mustangs. She was the player who was injured in the first quarter, early in the first quarter for Norwood. This is Katie Earl misses the first free throw. She's a freshman. Norwood has five seniors on the team, no juniors. The rest of the team, sophomore and freshman. Stoughton, meanwhile, has just three seniors on the team. So as I mentioned, some young talent as Norwood still hasn't scored this quarter, missed both free throws. That was Trin for three, no good. Whalen fighting for the rebound. They're going to say it went off of Norwood. It will remain Black Knight's ball. So this is Harris who's in the game for Stoughton. To Hyacinth. So you have Harris, Hyacinth, Trin, Motley, and Whalen. Three seniors, two sophomores on the court for the Black Knights. Just under three minutes and 30 seconds to go before the half. Whalen looking to go inside to Motley. Motley loses the ball though. Norwood possession. And she had Motley about a half a second before. Might have been able to put up a shot. Ryan to Reen. Back to Ryan. Inside to Earl. 
Earl with Norwood's first points of the quarter at the three minute, with three minutes left. That shot was short. Good job on defense there for Stoughton. Norwood's called for the foul. So we're seeing number 20, Hannah Holden, checking into the game for Stoughton. She's number 20. She takes the place of Jordan Motley. Waylon to Trin. Back inside to Waylon. Val Waylon for two. She has six points right now, tied for the team lead with Sydney Hyacinth, who also has six points. Whalen fighting for the loose ball, gets it to Trin. Trin to Hyacinth. Gets it to Harris. Harris puts up the jumper, no good. Rare time you didn't see Stoughton boxing out, fighting for the rebound there. It was probably the easiest rebound Norwood will get on all, all game. Whalen called for the foul there as Norwood's freshman Kate Earl heads to the line. Stoughton gets the rebound off the miss. Harris loses the ball out of bounds, but still Stoughton possession. It's 21 to 11 now. Stoughton still up by 10, looking to add to its lead before going into the half. As Harris looking to inbound the ball, gets it to Cheyenne Trin. Trin to Hyacinth for three, no good. That was Holden up underneath the basket, cleaning up and getting the second chance points. Hannah Holden for two. Stoughton up 12, 23 to 11. Norwood answers right there with two of its own. Hyacinth brings the ball across the half court line to Whalen. To Trin, Trin thought about three. She's gonna be called for the travel. That was good defense right there by Giambanco, number 13 for Norwood. Green, number 44, will bring the ball across the half court line. Gets it to Brinklow. It's Reen for three. Brings Norwood within seven. Trin back to Whalen. Whalen. Looks like she drew a foul right there. Not a shooting foul though, so Stoughton will be inbounding. Norwood's already in the bonus, keep that in mind down the, um, for their next possession. Whalen cutting right to the hoop, ball goes out of bounds, still Black Knight's ball. Whalen. Gets it to go, Val Whalen. Eight points in the first half. She's coming off a 17 point performance against Newton North, scoring nearly half of Stoughton's points in that game. Green for a deep three. No good, Stoughton fights for the rebound. Whalen puts up the shot. No good as at the half, Stoughton will take a 25 to 16 lead 
over Norwood. The Black Knights looking good so far in this Saturday morning contest. We will, we will be back for second half coverage of Stoughton High girls basketball on Stoughton Media Access. Welcome back to Norwood High School for this Stoughton High girls basketball game. I'm Jeffrey Pickett, joined alongside Thomas Smith, who is filming this game. Stoughton with a 25 to 16 lead as we are about to start the third quarter. The Black Knights in the first half were led by Val Whalen with eight points, Sydney Hyacinth with six points. Both of those, all six points coming off of a pair of three-pointers. Aaliyah Wright with four points, Jordan Motley with two, Hannah Holden with two, Cheyenne Trin with two, and Mariah Harris with a point. Rounding out the scoring for the Black Knights. Stoughton will be inbounding the ball as McDonnell, Trin, Wright, Whalen, and Motley are on the court to start the second half as Stoughton is looking for its first win of this season. And that's Aaliyah Wright straight to the basket to start the third quarter. Black Knights up, back up by double digits. Narrowly taken away by Wright. Norwood keeps the ball. It's Giambanco. Gets it out to Reen. Tareen inside to Earl. Three seconds left on the shot clock. That was Giambanco putting up the two. Trin with the ball for Stoughton across the half court line. Gets it to McDonald at the top of the key. Now to Aaliyah Wright, back to Trin. Trin working her way inside, puts up two. No good, Motley though with the rebound, kicks it back out to Trin. McDonald inside to right, Aaliyah Wright with two more. Four quick points this quarter for Aaliyah Wright, and she has eight overall. Just about a minute and a half into the third quarter. Almost stolen away there by Trin. Trin has numbers. She goes straight to the basket, no good. Whalen trying for the rebound, ends up tipping it to Norwood, who's gonna lose it out of bounds, Stoughton ball. Norwood coming into this contest with a two and two record. As the Mustangs take a timeout, the Norwood girls basketball team beating Weymouth in the first game of the season, losing to Wellesley and then Milford, and then most recently beating Norton. The Mustangs average 43.8 points per game, allowing an average of 46 and a half. Stoughton, meanwhile, as I've mentioned, struggled scoring, but they've, they're already approaching their season average here, up 29 to 18. Stoughton averaging just under 36 points per game. The Black Knights averaging 45 and a half in the first two games, and in the last three, averaging just 29.3. So it's very encouraging to see a resurgent effort by the Black Knights offense here, as they'll certainly need that as the calendar flips to 2018 and Stoughton enters that part of its schedule, which is predominantly Hockamock League teams. This will be McDonald inbounding the ball. Coach Steele, Jordan. Keeping the same five players on the court. Whalen gets the inbounds pass. Puts up the jumper, no good. Rebound tracked down by Giambanco. And that's taken away, that's Lindsay McDonald getting the loose ball. Gets it to Trin. Trin to right, did a nice job corralling that pass. Norwood ended up 
Norwood with a takeaway there. Inside to Earl, blocked by Val Whalen. This is GM Bonco, less than 10 seconds to go on the shot clock. Suffocating defense right there. Cheyenne Trin comes up with a steal. You gotta give a lot of credit to, to Motley and McDonald, who were swarming on the defensive end, forcing the turnover. Unfortunately, Stoughton not able to translate the turnover into offensive points as the Black Knights lose the ball. So Norwood back with the possession. Green with the ball, gets it to Giambanco. Back to Reen. Reen puts up a deep three. That was wide left. Trin's going to come up with the rebound, pushes it up to Wright, who has numbers. Aaliyah Wright, two more, 10 overall on the game. Goes to the bucket for an easy layup. Travel call there, Stoughton ball. Wright has all six points this quarter for the Black Knights as she has the ball from Cheyenne Trin. Wright to Whalen, Whalen to McDonald, McDonald to Wright to McDonald. Back to right, loses it, but they're gonna say it was tipped out by Norwood. I believe that was number 23, Taylor Brinklow, tipping it out. Trin gets the inbounds pass, puts up the three. No good, rebound Val Whalen. Second chance shot, no good. All right, I think I called jump ball possession arrow going towards Norwood. Good defense right there by Trin. Pushing the ball loose. It will stay Norwood, Norwood ball as Earl inbounds it, looking to inbound it. Gets it to Maturo, gets it back to Reen. Maturo tipped away by Trin. Heading towards the basket, Cheyenne Trin. No good, right with the rebound and she is fouled. So Taylor Brinklow called with a foul there, sending Aaliyah Wright, the sophomore, to the line. First free throw, no good. Wright with 10 points today, matching her season average. She scored 50 points total in the five games so far this season for the Black Knights. Looking for the second free throw, no good. Rebound by Earl. Still 31 to 18 with 335 left. Ball nearly taken away. Number 10, Lexi Baptista checking into the game for Stoughton as Motley took the ball away, getting it to Trin. So you have Baptista, Trin, Motley, Wright, and McDonald as that's Trin for two. Val Whalen taking her first breather this game. 33 to 18, just under three minutes left in the third quarter. And that's Wright picking up the loose ball, looking to take it. 
She'll be called for the offensive foul. So no basket there. Norwood having trouble bringing it across the half court line. The ball is going to go out of bounds. It will stay Norwood ball. Haley Egan checking into the game for Stoughton. Joining Baptista, Motley, McDonald, and Trin. Trin brings the ball across the half court line, gets it to McDonald, to Egan, to Baptista. Baptista gonna be called for the travel there. Trying to go inside here is Jordan Motley. Some good defense underneath. Able to force the ball out of Vanessa Dorfield's hands. Sydney Hyacinth back in the game now for Stoughton. She brought the ball across the half court line. Trin to Motley, Motley. Ball will go out of bounds, still Stoughton ball. Good defense underneath the hoop by Norwood. Egan will inbound it. Looking for Baptista, who was fouled. First free throw short for Baptista. Baptista is also a sophomore. Second free throw attempt, no good. Norwood with the rebound. Stoughton's missed its last four free throws. A nice job by Cheyenne Trent forcing the steal, getting the ball to Lexi Baptista. Ball back to Trent. Trin puts up the shot, drawing the foul. Gets that free throw. Both free throws good. As Trin now has six points for this quarter for Stoughton. That was knocked away by Egan to Baptista. Hyacinth back to Egan. Knocked away, Egan's gonna track it down. Hyacinth with the ball now, looking to reset things on the offensive end. 15 seconds left on the shot clock. Stoughton up 35 to 18 now. Oh, that was a travel right there. Under a minute to play here in the third quarter. Stoughton comfortably ahead, 35 to 18. Oh, 
almost picked off by Harris, who came cutting in for the inbounds pass. Egan knocks the ball out of bounds. Three put up, no good. That shot was from Carolyn Davy. Davy looking inbound the ball, gets it in, and Ryan is fouled. All right, Kiki going to the line, Kiki Ryan. All right. Rebound grabbed by Durfield. Good effort right there from Vanessa Dorfield, senior forward from Norwood. Davey inbounding it, but it's picked off by Harris. Gets it to Egan. Egan to Hyacinth. All right, the Norwood ball. Norwood with 10 seconds left to score here in the third quarter. Long shot, no good. Baptista with the rebound, two seconds. And Stoughton will dribble it out as the Black Knights will take a 35 to 18 lead into the final quarter. We'll be right back for fourth quarter action here in Norwood. All right, welcome back. Fourth quarter coverage here. Stoughton High girls basketball. The Knights, eight minutes away from picking up their first win of the season as Stoughton has a 17 point lead as we start to play in the fourth quarter. All 10 points in the third quarter for Stoughton came from Aaliyah Wright who had six and Cheyenne Trin who had four. So the two sophomores doing the scoring for Stoughton in the third. Stoughton will start the ball here. In the fourth quarter, as Wright was, will be called for the travel, so a turnover. Excellent defense for Stoughton all game, but particularly that third quarter. Norwood was held to just two points. And they already matched their scoring total in the second half as that is Earl going to the basket. Egan puts up the shot, no good, rebounded by Ryan. Gets it to Reen. Green to Giambanco. Giambanco puts up the shot. No good. Tracked down by Earl. Back to Giambanco in the corner. Kicked by Wright. It will stay Mustang ball. Inbounding to a wide open Reen. Shot short though. Norwood still has possession. The ref saying it went off of Norwood, so it'll be Stoughton Ball. Egan inbounding. So you have Egan, Trin, Wright, Stone, and Whalen on the court for Stoughton in the fourth quarter as that is number, that's decessory going to the basket for two.
Egan checking out. McDonald coming back in. That's a three-pointer right there by Kaylin Reen as it's just a 10-point game. Norwood on a bit of a run here to start the fourth quarter. Wright looking to answer for three. Aliyah Wright responds right back, giving Stoughton a 13-point lead. That's 13 so far for Wright. Reen, Giambanco, back to Reen who's open again for three. Rebound. And Trin is all alone underneath the basket. Easy two for Cheyenne Trin. 40 to 25, Stoughton back up 15. Ball. Motley checking back into the game for the Black Knights. Motley, Whalen, Wright, Trin, and McDonald, your starting five on the court right now for Stoughton. A little bit of a press right here by Norwood. Wright able to get the ball across the half quarter line. I think that was a pass to Whalen, but it was errant. Norwood with possession now. Green with the ball, plenty of time on the shot clock. Puts up a deep three, short. McDonald grabbing the rebound, but she's being fought for it. Timeout on the floor. So Stoughton did a good job kind of weathering what was a quick Norwood run. The Mustangs trailing 35 to 18 heading into this quarter scored seven points, including a big three by Kaylin Reen. And right after hitting that three, Aaliyah Wright for Stoughton answers and puts the Black Knights back up by 13. You had Cheyenne Trin with an easy bucket the next possession. That's how we're at the 15 point lead right now. So very important that Stoughton didn't allow that Norwood run to gain any more steam. We're just out of the timeout here as Stoughton returns to the court. Once again, Wright, Trin, Motley, Whalen, and McDonald. Norwood having trouble inbounding the ball, gets it to Reen finally in the corner, tightly guarded by Trin. This is Giambanco now. Wright trying to kick it away. Almost led to a steal by Trin. Now it leads to Reen for an open three and Reen nails it. Norwood ball. Timeout Stoughton. So just in the previous timeout, has, as I was mentioning how Stoughton seemed to weather Norwood's run. Mustangs look like they might be starting another and Coach Steele Jordan taking the timeout, hoping to halt Norwood's momentum. Reen has really been heating up here as of late and she's not afraid to take a deep three and she's making them. Stoughton needing to do a better job guarding her on the perimeter. All right, so coming out of the timeout, Coach Steele Jordan sending the same five players back out. Stoughton up 40 to 28, 453 left here in the fourth quarter at Norwood High School. Inbounds pass, no good, and McDonald able to grab the rebound. Trin now. 
Brings it across the half court line. Gets it to right. And right's going to be called dribbling violation. Norwood looking to inbound the ball. That's Reen. Aaron pass out of bounds. Stoughton ball. When you're down by 12, you I understand there's a sense of urgency, but you have to be more careful with your possessions. Still Stoughton ball. Right, getting the inbounds pass, nearly loses it, does a good job recovering. Motley with it now, pushes it to Trin. Trin going to the hoop, puts up the shot. Cheyenne Trin for two. That's now 10 points for Trin. Motley with the rebound, gets it to Trin. Out to McDonald. Inside to Waylon. And Val Waylon doing a good job drawing some contact there. Val Waylon had eight points in the first half, looking to add to her point total here, but more importantly, looking to add to Stoughton's 42 to 28 lead. As we're just past the midway point in the fourth quarter. Free throw, good. Waylon will get one more attempt. That's 10 for Waylon, and the Stoughton lead is now 16, 44 to 28. with the loose ball. It's going to go out of bounds off a Norwood player, Stoughton maintaining possession. Trin to right, back to Trin. Inside to Motley in traffic, does a good job controlling that. Back to Trin, Trin for three, no good. Wright's going to track down the rebound. Gets it to Waylon. Now McDonald back to Trin. She'll try again for three. No good. Rebound by Wright. Back out to Trin. And Trin's fouled. Neither team in the bonus yet, so that won't send Stoughton to the line as McDonald inbounds it to Whalen. To Trin, who reset the offense here. Ball nearly taken away. Trin fouled there. That was Giambanco fouling Trin. Still not in the bonus as Stoughton inbounds the ball. Whalen was trying to find Motley underneath, but Norwood takes the ball away. Giambanco to Giambanco, two sisters passing the ball to one another. As that was Ali Giambanco, whose shot was short, and there's a scrum on the court for the loose ball. All right, so Stoughton's going to take a timeout, up 16, 44 to 28, with 2.45 left in the fourth quarter. They'll have possession coming out of the timeout. All right, coming out of the timeout here. Still on the court for the Black Knights, Val Whalen, Jordan Motley, 
Aaliyah Wright, Cheyenne Trin, and Lindsey McDonald, who will be inbounding the ball. Trin now brings the ball across the half court line to Waylon. Waylon for two. No good. Rebound Norwood. Blocked partially there by Molly, but Norwood does a good job recovering, and that's two points for the Mustangs. McDonald now pushing the ball up to right. Now to Waylon inside to Motley. Trin does a good job tracking that down, saving it from going out of bounds. Inside again to Motley. Kicks it out to right. Trin now for three. Yes, Cheyenne Trin. 13 points. And she gives Stoughton a 47 to 30 lead. Inside to Waylon. Waylon for two. Way too easy for Stoughton there. Norwood with a defensive lapse. That shot was short. Stoughton ball. Under the minute mark now. Motley tracks down the ball. Trin dribbling down the clock. Gets it to right. McDonald to Trin. Trin puts up the long shot, no good. Rebound by Dorfield. Ball kicked by Wright. <laughs> Stoughton now with the shot clock off will look to run things down and close out their first win of the season. Stoughton, 49, Norwood, 32. The Black Knights, this was a vital game. And they, they picked it up. They did what they had to do, and now they can go into the 2018 portion of their schedule with a little bit of momentum and hopefully start to turn things around. This is a team with a lot of talent, and the Black Knights were hoping to make the tournament this season after narrowly missing it the past two years. Starting 0-5 is a deep hole to dig yourselves out of, but this team has the capability to do it, and they have some favor favorable matchups coming up on the schedule, so look for Stoughton to try to make a run into in the January portion of their schedule, climb back to 500. This win, an important springboard for doing hopefully just that. So let's just go over some point leaders before we sign off. Cheyenne Trin with 13 points and Aaliyah Wright with 13 points leading the Black Knights. Val Whalen right behind with 12 points and Sydney Hyacinth chipping in with six points. So want to thank Thomas Smith for filming today. I'm Jeffrey Pickett from Stoughton Media Access. You've been watching our coverage of the Stoughton High girls basketball team's game at Norwood with Stoughton coming away with a 49-32 to win. The Knights picking up their first win of the season. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time on Stoughton Media Access.